All right, so here's the video of my new Camaro. We can see the uh, paints. Uh, it's like an old enamel that's pretty well checked. Um, however, frame is really nice, the control arms are really nice, all up underneath the car is, well, I guess here would be best. We see uh, the blue overspray underneath and the trim tag says it was originally Le Mans blue and uh, I have to agree, um, exhaust kind of a uh, Hangs a bit low. Got a hole in one, hole in the other one. Um, going back, all the stainless door reveals are really quite nice. The windshield, the the uh, um, vinyl top trim, the back window trim. It's all really quite nice. The the rims are pretty decent. They could use a little polishing. Corvette rallies are pretty good shape. Got a little, little maybe over the end. Yeah, probably the original finish on them. Uh, bumpers real great. Tail light buckets. Got a little pitting there, but nothing too bad. Chrome part, the chrome part's pretty good. Eh, gas cap could use replaced, but underneath the back here, all in all, real solid, real solid car. Uh, I think we got a 10 bolt rear end or axle. Um, yeah, what else? Uh, yeah, a few little dings like that. That one. Uh, so can you see it? That one there. A few little dings like that one, but that's not expected with a 42-year-old car. Um. Doesn't look like batteries leaked over the years too much or anything. The uh the trim tag. Standard blue interior. E6 the Mont blue. Don't know if it had a bumblebee stripe or anything. Um it's got a 283. Three, I think it's 283 anyway, out of Chevelle or something, but runs good. Got power steering, standard brakes. Uh, let's take a look at the inside. The doors. Shut nice. All up. Thing looks pretty good. I mean, door jams and everything look look real good. Uh, I lifted up the carpet when I looked at it originally, and at least the corners there and there are really quite nice. Um, the uh, as you can see, the seat. Upholstery could use a replacing. Uh, carpets, maybe, maybe not. I figure if I'm gonna spend the money on the uh, upholstery kit, might as well put new carpet in, right? Um, factory AC car, that's nice. 
Um, looks like they did the whole interior with the deluxe. And there's got some paint or paint or something spilled down here. Eh, got a rip in the sail panel there. But uh Oh no, I think it's a real nice solid car. Battery's dead right now, it started, but that's why the dome lamp doesn't work, but it actually does. Um the balls in the back there and there's one ball and some ducting. Got a few things to put back together. Like I said, all in all it's a real well kept car um yeah so it's gonna be a fun project it'll take me a long time probably oh i guess this piece of trim's got a little little uh dings to it but that's all right i think hold on i think it's got a turbo 350 transmission in there. Oh, uh, let's see. Had one, two, and drive. And so I think that's accurate. Over here we see the frame rails are real nice. Body bushings are are still rubbery and not all split out. Um, let's see. Yeah. Uh, got lucky to find a local car that, that I could go look at and see it was in real good shape and and uh, get it for a decent price so it's gonna like I said it's gonna take me a while but but uh, I'll get it done uh, I guess it's got this cow induction hood that I'm not a huge fan of. Um, looks alright, but I like the original SS hood. And it's raised up here just a just a skosh. So don't know how to fix that yet, but I'm sure I'll learn. Anyway. Um it's got some of the SS badging. Missing uh, the 350 on the front left uh, fender, and um, looks like I'll need a new Camaro badge for the right front fender. Mm. Yeah, so I guess this is a uh, sign it off probably. Probably see it when it's uh, all tore apart next.